in this new version of Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central, we've got enhanced personalization options. And as you've seen in other videos, I've been able to add, for example, quick links to my navigation menu. However, you may not want to do that for every single individual. You might want to be able to personalize the profile, and you now can. We have a configuration mode equivalent. So, first, if I navigate to the profiles page, We see there are now more profiles available. There were ones that were in the product previously, but also uh, a default one for a department area and a blank profile that may be of interest. What I want to do is I'm currently working as business manager, but I don't want to actually modify that profile. I want to copy that and do a company version. So if I do copy profile, In the profile ID, I'm going to put an underscore so it appears at the top of the list. I'm going to reference it with the company initials, or in this case, my initials, and then the second part, the name of the original profile it's built on, just to make things easier for cross-referencing. Display name is what will actually show up to the users when they choose or assign this profile. So I'm going to give it, it I would put in the company name and then the profile. I now have an extra profile in the list that I can actually go to the card page for and I can start modifying. Before I go further down, you have got the option to explore what page has been customized. So at the moment, nothing's been customized. But if I go customize pages, opens up in a new browser window for me and I'm going to aim to just do a couple of minor changes to the role center just to demonstrate this. So now we're back in and it confirms I'm customizing the company name profile that was originally business manager and if I do the more at different points I have different things offered to me so for example I can add and remove bookmarks so I'm actually going to remove the chart of accounts. Now that's rather useful because I'd already done some changes on this. So I want to unlock the page. And you see how it took away my post of sales invoices that was a result of personalization rather than customization. So clicking the plus field at the top for the area that's in use will give me what I could add in to various points if I've removed certain fields. Um, all I really want to do is remove bank accounts. Customers, vendors, items, I'm going to make this one a, a sales and purchase focus role center and remove some of the elements of finance. So if I just go under sales, let's say as a company we don't do quotes particularly, so I can remove the quotes but it might be I want to look at the post sales invoices more frequently so I can bring that up so it's got a higher focus. When I've finished I can click done and it will take me out of customization mode and close the browser tab to return to the main screen. So we see I've got the second tab here. If I close that if I just refresh the page, we see I have now got some customized pages. If I navigate to customized pages, we say I have got some customized pages. If I head back in, I can do a, a second bite at the cherry. Now, if I want to add in some bookmarks, for example, or navigate to further pages, you might find it slightly fiddly. I'm clicking customers there, it's not navigating to it. But if I were to press control and click, it then sends me to that page so I can do changes on this page. For example, just change the view to the list view. I don't need to see responsibility center. And I want to give balance LCY higher focus. For example, 
Okay. This page is already bookmarked. It, already, it appears on my role center already. If we just check that. What I want to do is add in a couple more. So if I do the posted sales invoices, control click to get to the page, bookmark it. Same on purchasing, posted purchase invoices. Bookmark that. Back to sales and I'll have sales orders. So control click to go to there. Bookmark that page. And actually purchase orders. Bookmark that page. Now if I turn to my role center, I've made some significant changes, resequenced, removed two elements, added in bookmarks that are now part of the profile. If I say done, it confirms. I need to close this tab, so come out of full screen mode. Here you see there's the second tab. If I just close that, back on my profile, and if I navigate and look at customized pages, we see that I've done the role center itself and the customers list page, for example, page 22. If you don't want a, a profile to be enabled for use, you can tick that, turn that slider off so it won't be available to people. And you can only set one as default, but if you want that to be the default profile, then you can turn this one on. That will deselect what other, what other profile was previously the default profile. So you see here, I'm still using the original business manager profile with my own bit of personalization in there, one bookmark only. If I go to my settings and I change from business manager to that company name profile I just created, say OK. Here's that new profile with my choice of the quick access links on the navigation menu, resequenced, some removed, and their extra bookmarks added in by default.